All right, guys, so here we have a physical description of the ghost of Christmas present. The big lad all dressed in green. He's kind of described as a free and generous spirit and... This generosity shows that, you know, being generous and not being stingy and tight and greedy and covetous like Scrooge is what brings you and, of course, others happiness. It's a big, long quotation, so I'll read through it first and we zoom in on stuff. So it says, its dark brown curls were long and free, free as its genial face, its sparkling eyes, its open hand, its cheery voice, its unconstrained demeanour and its joyful air girded round its middle was an antique scabbard, but no sword was in it. And the ancient sheath was eaten up with rust. So a big long quotation. There's no way that you need to be remembering all of this, but little bits and little phrases that you can embed throughout answers is what you need. So let's have a look at some of those. Long and free describing his dark brown curls, his hair, and it symbolizes the freedom that this ghost has. It's the generosity and goodwill that he brings that allows him this freedom. He isn't constrained and unhappy by being constantly greedy and wanting something else. He has a freedom in his life because he accepted what he has and is generous with his wealth and belongings. And that happiness is emphasised here. This genial face, its sparkling eye, unconstrained demeanour, its joyful air. Lots of quotes that back up and support each other there that is really Dickens saying that if you live your life in a selfless way, giving to others, that is going to bring you far more happiness. And again, it's emphasised in its cheery voice. I pick out cheery voice separately because voice is something that comes out through a few different characters. Scrooge's voice is, is described as the complete opposite of this kind of cheery voice that we get here. But nevertheless, Fezziwig, who is another ha happy, generous character, also has a, described a cheery voice. So I think voice is important for Dickens. And again, it emphasises the happiness of this character. Now, around his middle with an antique scabbard, I'll get that to a second, but girded, just picked up that word there because girded, girded of his own free will, um, is Marley's chain, isn't it? So whether that word has been repeated twice on, on purpose to make a, a kind of contrast between this character and Marley's ghost, I don't know. But I think it's worth picking up and saying that girded is described this free character to contrast perhaps Marley's character wandering the earth in eternal torture. Both use girded in their descriptions in very different senses because round this guy's waist is an antique scabbard girded. That is basically what a sword is held in. That thing, you know, when you see in films where they stick the sword down their side in this big thing that wraps it up nicely and neat and doesn't cut your leg off. Well, that's what a scabbard is. Um, the fact it's empty, though, and the fact that this, all the bucket and that is all rusted up shows that this ghost is a peaceful character. He believes in peace and peace upon mankind. Again, Generous, joyful, peaceful, all those kind of qualities that we want in a person. The ghost of Christmas present here is representing. Obviously, um, there's other quotations that link to his kind of representation of Father Christmas or Jesus Christ a little bit more. But there's a little bit in the context box there about who he is and the representation of Father Christmas and how that goes back in history, should you want it. And some link quotations there with the ghost of Christmas present as well, some of which I go into detail with in different videos which you can watch.